are chickens in this Airbnb. <laughs> Two little chickens running around and they're the funniest things. So we recently took some time off filming to catch up with my friends and family in Dongra and in Geraldton. I heard that my friends were going camping up along the Ningaloo coast and I wanted to join. So I've convinced Riley, we are so underprepared for this camping trip, I've convinced Riley to go camping. So we... <laughs> Went off to the camping store and bought some stuff and... We set up to sail around the world, not so much camp. No, we're going to be in tents with blow-up mattresses, two babies. They're sick, bro. Ew. Yeah! <laughs> we brought a friend along with us to help out because it's just going to be mayhem. We've got no tow ball or roof racks and five adults in one car to... to Three camp. adults. Sorry, five humans. Yeah. Um, to to sleep somewhere for four days and three nights. Mm. So the car is Bring packed the to the brim. It's the fullest car I've, I've ever never seen. seen. Yeah. <laughs> my feet are like up at my chest. Yesterday, not yesterday, but the day before Elena played, I convinced her to play a gig at her local pub, which was very, very difficult. But anyway, that was awesome fun, especially for some of the young girls there who were who are big fans of her. She's embarrassed to <laughs> talk or think it about it. It was weird playing in front of my old hometown. It shouldn't be. It's a beautiful gift that you were able to, to give them. But anyway, I had a couple of beers and... So we were all pretty tired yesterday. We were very tired yesterday trying to kick off. Good grief, what a disaster of a morning. You have got zero room back there. I feel terrible for you. No, we're right. Okay. Well, can you say that? We're going on a road trip. We're going on a road trip. Yep, we were about to head off to the remote parts of Northwest Australia, kicking it off with a camping trip before heading even further north to visit some cool people you've probably seen here on YouTube before. So be sure to click subscribe so you don't miss out on these exciting clubs. For the next few weeks, we were intending to spend a lot of time under the surface of the ocean. We were just so ready for some warmer weather again. Anyway, I should put emphasis on the fact that this camping trip we're about to go on in the next couple of days really has caused us a lot of stress in organising, mostly because we had none of our own camping or freediving gear with us, and we had to run around town pretty last minute and borrow a bunch of stuff from my friends. Vegas can't be choosers. I hoped that once we got there and set up, it'd all be worth the trouble. I had a feeling it would be. the drive yesterday, Kate. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would go. <laughs> oh, long time. Really? Yeah. I honestly, like, you guys probably see, like, the best of other people's kids. Yeah. Your kids aren't actually that bad. <coughs> okay, keep it up. We'll keep it up. How do we meet you, Kate? <laughs> um, Elena put up a Instagram post and I was just like, yeah. I'm gonna message her and just messaged you and you replied pretty quickly. I was very surprised. And then I, was, well, I saw that you were a photographer as well. I was like, oh, that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, and I was talking to the girls at the pub the other night and they were like, I messaged her and she never replied. I was like, oh my God, she must have had like so many. Yes, you're very lucky to have your job. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we'll see. No, no, no it's been good to have No, you're all right. Now you're right. No, no, <laughs> Quite a view from the toilet. Look at all the pictures hanging up, Lenny. This one's the best. Never before has a generation so diligently recorded themselves accomplishing so little. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are sailors. Well, they've at least done a Pacific crossing. There's a lot, there's lots of stuff in their Airbnb about travel. So they've come down to the Galapagos. 
I don't like that course. I would have liked to have seen them go further south before they uh, went west, but that's okay. Yeah, I have to do that as well. Oh, jeez. What have you found there, Lenny? A spider. Yeah, you stay away from that, mate. Oh, my God. With Kate here to watch our babies, Riley and I had the chance to sneak off and go for a quick free dive and spearfish with some of our friends. Only just, hey, we're just fighting. <laughs> we had not seen visibility or biodiversity like this since probably the Bahamas back in 2019. I grew up here and haven't even put a dent in exploring this coastline. After this one dive, we found ourselves looking at potential anchorages for the future, for when we bring the trimaran back here. There's my boy there. So Elaine is just having a sleep. She had a terrible night's sleep last night. Poor, poor old duck. Lenny and I are coming for a walk this afternoon up in amongst these sand dunes here. It's from our backyard to here. It takes about 45 seconds to go for a walk in proper Australian outback. This is my memories of Australia and it's so good to just have him walking around here. It really is. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thoroughly enjoying this trip up the coast. Me from my winter hell. Got... Definitely looking forward to getting back on the water. <laughs> Lenny just fell over. But at the moment, trekking through these sand dunes is really whetting my appetite. The sun's going down. Yeah. Should we go home? No. Not yet? When you see what I've done today, you are going to lose your marbles. Okay. It's, there's so much room. All right. Wow. What'd you do? <laughs> I've just packed it differently. My father would be proud. Okay. Look at look at how much room you've got down here. I actually have space for my legs. That was full yesterday. Thank you. You have no That's idea right. how much this means to be. <laughs> just be careful. Because he here. Yes. If you pull that open, okay. it's going to come flying up and probably smash you in the head because right. I've had to hip and shoulder it to get it closed. Lenny, Lenny, there's a lot of potential energy involved in the closing of that boat, so just be careful, all right, mate? Are you excited to go camping? No. You're going to see Coven and Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> So yesterday was a 
five hour drive. Today is another five hour drive, except a lot of that is going to be on a dirt track. So it's going to take way more than five hours. Um, I've received reports from my friends. 57 kilometers an hour, we average. I've received reports from my friends saying, yeah, be careful, it's super boggy. Anyway, camping, it's going to be red dirt. We're going to be spear fishing for our own fish. I'm ready to slay something. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Probably not, but it's funny. Yeah, I went through a long period of my life where I didn't want to, I didn't want to kill fish. Yeah, and maybe now that I've popped out my babies, I'm ready to get back into it. I feel, yeah, hormonally, I think I'm ready. We obviously tried to borrow as much gear as we could from all of our friends, like tents, mattresses, had to buy a chemical toilet. Yeah, tried to borrow a lot of stuff from other people, so we're bound to have a few missing tent pegs and stuff like that. <laughs> could be a disaster. We'll see. We've turned off onto the dirt track and our friends said these roads are shocking. So far, <laughs> we've burned over two hills and there's been like parts of the road missing just where it's caved in here from you rainfall. You can film this good here if you like. Kind of similar. <laughs> Whoa, Lenny. What's happening, Kate? <laughs> Um, we've got a bit of turbulence, <laughs> just things falling out of places. Good boy. Still got a little bit of enthusiasm left, Elena. How excited were you to see that blue water? That looks incredible. I've not seen anything like it since we were last in the Bahamas years ago. That's pretty blue. Oh, I can smell it, Alana. Okay, is that rolling, Gaz? Roll on. Should we face it down a bit more? We just wanted to have a chat. No, no, no. The first thing I wanted to do was tell my funny story. Alright. So I've just finished telling Dad this and actually a couple of Dad's mates on the phone. Apologies if we've been complaining a lot about the camping and also the car and lack of organisation and all that sort of stuff. The funniest thing that happened was when we were... We'd been on the road for about three hours and gone about 100 kilometres, pulled up into Geraldton. The car is just packed to the brim. Like, there's no roof racks, there's no tow ball, and we had five humans, three adults in a car, and we are trying to go camping for four days, which I can tell you is not, not just, just not doable. It's not feasible <laughs> at all. Anyway, Elena... We'll see you in the next episode. Elena comes back with some shopping, like some groceries and stuff, and I was like, where on earth are we, do you expect me to put this? Like, what are, what are you, what do you think I'm going to do? And this was bare essentials, like necessities to survive. Yeah, this wasn't, I wasn't like, bringing some along fancy and... dips. This was, yeah. like, <laughs> onions and potatoes and stuff and a florid of broccoli. So I popped the boot and stopped everything from falling out and I grabbed the stuff. I was a bit annoyed at this stage and I was, like, shoving onions into spots in between bags yeah. so just to try and get it to fit. Like, and I found a little spot in, the, in between the window and a bag where things would fall down the side. So I filled up that little cavity and then another one and then and slammed the boot shut. So when we actually got there, we are pulling bags out and the onions were falling out and the broccoli had, had all 
little sand on it on the bottom of the, the most smushed up broccoli. <laughs> it's not going to be very nice to eat, but whatever. Thank goodness for Kate. We got so lucky with Kate. She's a part-time photographer. She's studying to be a sparky, which I really love. I was like, what? That's so cool. Yeah. And she's small, she's a fun size, she can hop up in the roofs and- She fits in between the car seats. Yeah, perfect. And she has been so helpful and lovely like towards Lenny and Darwin. So we got so lucky with that because yeah, a camping trip like this would not have been possible without another set of hands. Yeah. Yeah. So what else do we need to talk about? Um, just the new boat, I guess. Uh, so Vietnam is still in lockdown, unfortunately. Uh, both of the Amers have been built and uh, yeah, not a great deal more. I'm still liaising with Ocean Vault and Doyle Sales and B&G in particular. Um, and there's a couple of other people that I've been speaking to as well. The team are really good at communicating with us like that, the video chat that you had the other day. And also recently we just decided what to do with our dinghy on the, the back of the boat because we want a beautiful view of the ocean from where you steer from the helm. We're thinking, you know, Wally yachts, we want to streamlined back minimalistic deck and everyone is going to go there, there's this online dispute about helm position and and everyone's like oh, i would never buy that so people are talking about a big expensive boat and they're like i would never buy that because the helm's unprotected and i'm like dude you can build a shelter if you yeah. like everything else about the boat just spend like a small percentage of what the boat is worth and build yourself a little shelter, like if you're desperate to be completely yeah. protected. But as we're, we're used all to cruisers not being know, yeah, you spend 99% of your time on autopilot. We obviously didn't on that North Atlantic crossing and you just deal with it. The team is so amazing. Like when we've been looking at um, the design and stuff and Steve's just there like showing us what it would look like without and with and like changing all these things so yeah. quickly. Yeah. Man, he's good at that program, hey? So I forget the name of the program. I assume that the appear, disappear feature is quite simple. To yeah, I know, but I'm so quick. impressed. But anyway, we picked out um, where our dinghy's gonna go and it's gonna go quite low at the back and we'll be swinging off the side on the Amers. I'm gonna get like a beautiful wooden rope to throw over the side, a little ladder that we can climb up. Yeah. So yeah, anyway, it's coming along nicely. It's sad we can't be there right now. Um, I believe. We're going to give you another update uh, on our travel plans. We actually have some crazy news. <laughs> yeah. An alternative plan, which we will mention very soon. But it's, either way, it's going to be all good. It's all sweet. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining us for that episode. Um, give it a like if you haven't already, and please leave us a comment. We'll see you in the comment section. Do that, please, actually, if you don't mind. Yeah, as do, you know, we've had some time a, off. Do hit, a, hit the like and do leave a comment. We really need some love right now on our videos. Tell us. Help us get back up there. <laughs> <laughs> We're assuming that things are going bad. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. One to two children, hey? All right, guys. Hope you're having a lovely day or evening wherever in the world you are. I've been a bit distracted playing with my sand here. <laughs> <laughs>